All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of The Urban Gardener. I wanna thank you all so much for joining me on today's video. What we'll be doing is planting out our pepper starts. We grow lots of really great varieties of peppers. It's one of my favorite things to grow here in the urban gardens. We get them started a couple of months indoors to get them a real good head start in, growing the, in the growing season. Um, we'll be planting them out here. We've got in our back patio space some of our five gallon water wicking buckets. And along our back fence line that we have there where we usually grow them, I've fixed up something to kind of improve their growing space. So before we get all started with all of that, got some clips to show you kind of about some hardships of hardening off your pepper starts but also before we do that too let's give this video a big thumbs up you know and if you have any questions or comments through this video hit me up in that comment section down below and don't forget there's a subscribe button right down below as well hit that subscribe button and follow along with us for more garden adventures here on the urban garden what are you doing Dexter For those who have watched my channel over the last couple of years, you know that uh, we originally started growing our pepper plants up on the top of this flat carport until the landlord and owners of this building decided that it wasn't a good idea. But this year, I figure we'll just kind of give it a shot again. Only with just a few of them there. We only got five buckets right up on the ledge instead of up there like we used to before. But what I got to show you next is uh, why hardening off your peppers is really kind of important. So as you can see, these pepper plants do not look very well, especially this guy. And this is from just taking these plants right out from underneath of the fluorescent lights and putting them right out into the sunlight. They get really, really sun scorched. Possibly even enough to uh, kill the plant off. Yet to see, but uh, they might bounce back from this with some new growth. So we'll kind of keep an eye on them possibly replace them if we have to but yeah it's a good idea to harden off your pepper plants this one here though this one's been growing outdoors for the last couple of months so it's already used to the sunlight and is doing just fine up here <music> We've had these peppers out hardening off for the last few days. Um, as you can see too here, we'll take a look real quick. Like we showed in those clips, starting to get some sunburn. But overall, these plants should do all right. We slowly integrated them into the outdoors. And if we do get any sunburn or lose any leaves, There'll be lots of new growth that'll be coming up as well. So, as you see, we've got a lot of different varieties of peppers, and uh, we only got so many spaces, so we'll be choosing the biggest, best, and strongest ones out of the bunch here, and getting them planted in what along our back spaces I mentioned. We've got a new and improved growing space. Now I built this here off of a picture that I saw on one of the gardening groups on Facebook. And I thought that would be just an excellent idea for us to grow this year. Very simply put together. Got some 2 by 4s Holding it up. And I'm going across the bottom there to hold them all up like so, right up off of the ground. These are our five gallon water wicking buckets as we saw in the previous video. Feed the water into the second bottom bucket. 
and I've got all of those out facing out so that I can see when they're full as the water will come out of the bottom there when they're full to help keep those nice and hydrated and growing throughout the summer so just like in our tomato planting video that we put out recently if you haven't seen that yet I'm gonna put a link down below in the description for that but what we have here is some Epsom salts and a tomato based organic dry fertilizer that you can get in any of your garden centers what we'll be doing is adding about a tablespoon or so into our planting hole and about another tablespoon or so we'll uh, scratch into the top of the planting surface after we have planted in the plants this should give our peppers a really great start to the growing season there we go got all of these in the back area planted out we put uh, our cages on them as you can see it's a little bit windy and they're blowing them around pretty well right now but this will help keep them from uh, blowing over breaking whatnot in the winds there we go got them all planted out let's go plant out the ones in the back patio So here we are now on the back patio area. As you can see, we've got some new water wicking buckets that I built out for this area. Got about seven new spaces here for some of our plant starts that we didn't plant along the back fence line there. And these two buckets from last year's crop, we've got some volunteers. And these volunteers, we don't know what kind they are what peppers they'll turn out to be or if they crossed because there were several different kinds growing back there last year so it'll be a mystery and I'm interested in finding out what we get so just pick out our starts right here in the middle take out these other ones that's the hard part pulling out and taking out young little starts There we go, we got one nice one growing right there in the middle. And over here there's a lot more. But again, we're gonna take this one that's right in the middle. We'll pull out all these other ones here. There we go. So we already got a couple of peppers. We'll figure out what those are later in the season. So all right, same as we did with the peppers that we just planted in the back planting area, we're going to be planting in the rest of our starts here on the back patio. We'll be digging out a hole and again, adding about a tablespoon of the Epsom salts and the organic fertilizer to both the planting hole and we're gonna scratch it around on the top. One of the things that we're also doing when we're planting out these starts is we're also taking off these flowers that are starting to grow onto the plants. Now, I don't want the plant concentrating on growing flowers or pods quite yet because we're just transplanting these into the bucket. So we want to give our plants an opportunity to grow a good root system, which then will really help with the production of fruits later on in the season. 
So we'll be taking off all of these little flower buds as we plant them out. peppers all planted got our cages on them they're all fertilized we're looking forward to some really nice crops of peppers this year and of course we got our uh, two volunteers we'll see what kind of peppers we get from those as well remember keep following along with the urban gardener and find out exactly what we get here doing huh how you doing George it's all right one more thing we can't forget our tres amigos poblanos our poblano peppers one of my favorite peppers to grow and eat they really seem to do well in this little plot that we've got here between our carport growing along with some of this volunteer celery that's come up in bunches and have to thin that out here pretty soon like i said hit that subscribe button down below follow along with us and uh see how well all these peppers do this year so all right there we have it we've got all of our pepper plants planted out for this year out back here on our back patio area and of course our poblanos it's really good feeling to get all of your pepper starts and all your starts in fact in the garden put out and see about all of the potential that you have for later in the season so really really looking forward to what we get out of all of these different uh, pepper plants that we've grown here I want to thank you all again for joining me on this episode don't forget hit the like button leave a comment down below hit that subscribe button follow along with more garden adventures as we continue growing here on the urban gardener I'll see you all again on the next episode. Okay, let's do this. All right, everybody. Dude, did you just do that? You just interrupted me, brother. I know, I'm trying to film here and you're interrupting me. <laughs> Today on today's video, I don't know about that. <laughs> I fixed up our setup along the back. <laughs> I fixed up our... This pace, we're never gonna get this done. Jeez, dude. Those in a moment. Uh, no, that was not what we were trying to say. <sighs> On the growing season. Head, head of time, head start. No, no, no. All right, everybody. <laughs> hmm.
Let's get it this time. Let's do it this time. We've got it. 